Today I'll be giving you guys three tips to improve your accuracy, so let's get right into it. So the first tip we're going to be getting into is HUD opacity. Now your HUD, now HUD opacity basically affects the thing that's in the middle of the screen, which is your reticle, and it affects the visibility of your reticle. So in order to adjust this, you have to go into your settings, go to UI, and then HUD opacity will be right there. Now what you want to do is turn this all the way up so that your HUD can be extremely clear and your enemies will be more visible and easier to track. So the second tip we're going to be getting into is keeping your aim steady. What this basically means is we're going back to the reticle, which is connecting back to the first tip. But what this means is like, when you're moving around, make as tiny adjustments to your aim as possible so that you don't lose control of it. For example, same walking around here, right? I'll move as tiny as possible when I'm rocking around the corner like this. Notice how I'm only making slight adjustments to my aim. I mean, that's obviously not a perfect example, but try to move your reticle as minim as minimally as possible so that you don't lose control of your aim and you'll be able to kill enemies more often. The third tip we're going to be getting into is aiming at the body. Now, this may sound counterintuitive, but basically this game is a body shield mechanic where you can't necessarily do killing damage to someone until you fully break their shield. So for example, this bot, right? I'm gonna walk up to the bot and then I'll show you how to do this. Now, do you notice how I shot at the bot's body and then I went for the headshot? That's how you should be going for kills because that way you'll be able to get some damage on their shields, break them, and then you can go for the killing blow. If you guys enjoyed this tips video, make sure to watch my other Halo Infinite tips video that gives you 5 tips to improve instantly in Halo Infinite.